Hello! This video is going to give a quick demonstration of Google+. I'll access Google+, via my Apps Launcher. If I click on the Apps Launcher, you'll see Google+, is here. As a quick tip, uh, if there's something maybe in the More section that you like, you can always click and hold on an app, and then you can slide it and drag it around to move it wherever you want to uh, for, for the apps that you use most often. So I'm going to click on Google+, which will take me to my Google+, homepage. Uh, you can see here there's some navigation on the left hand side. Here I can get home, I can uh, go to collections, communities, which is very uh, one of the very popular features of Google+, and then there's some other settings for uh, viewing your profile, finding different people, and changing your Google+, settings. So this is the, the home page of Google+. You'll see there's an option up here to post. If I click the What's New With You, it brings up the posting box. When I'm in the posting box, I can add text, I can add pictures, links, I can share my location. If I click this little public icon here, that will allow me to change who is, who's able to see my post. I can make different communities see my post. I can post to specific circles, uh, or I could type in a specific name if I want it to go to only one person. I can click over here if I don't uh, want people to be able to comment or reshare my post. And I'll click uh, cancel here, but once you do have your post, once uh, if you click post, then it uh, will post it to Google+. So this is basically the news feed where the different posts go to. You'll see here uh, this Matt Miller has posted to technology and education. That is a community that I follow. So posts that are in a community will show up as well. Uh, here's a post to a tech coach community, Google Apps for Education community. Uh, so lots of different posts. You can just scroll down and, and see uh, the different posts that have come in. Uh, you can also post with this little red pencil button in the lower right hand corner. If you click that, uh, that will pop up and give you that as well. And you can see here is just a, a post from a person that hasn't posted to a community. Uh, you know, they don't have the, the green text of who it's going to post it over there. So this is the dashboard. As I said, one of the, the common features is communities. If you click on communities, you'll see uh, communities that are recommended for you, uh, communities that you're a member of in the middle, and then uh, yours is the community, uh, yours are communities that you have created or you're a editor for. So if I go in the recommended, you'll see some of them say ask to join. Some of them just say join. Uh, the reason or the difference being is that some communities are private and you have to gain permission before you can join those communities. You can go into the settings of Google+. If you click on the, the settings cog, it gives you different options uh, for how you can manage your profile. Notifications is a big feature of the settings, which lets you pick how much you are notified and when you're notified for different events. You can also, if you're within a community, I'll click on a community that I'm a member of. I'll click Autocrat. Here's the Autocrat page. Uh, I, I can change the notifications just for this community. If I click this little uh, More icon and hit Community Settings, here one of the options is Get Notified About New Posts. So if I were to turn that on, uh, I would get notified either via an email or uh, if I have a mobile app, I'd get notified via the mobile app that there's been a new post. Uh, so if there's a community that you really enjoy being a part of, you could turn on notifications for that community. Uh, for communities you don't check as often, you could always turn off notifications for those communities. So that's just a quick overview of Google+. Uh, Google+, is a fabulous social network for education. There's lots of different communities that you can join to uh, interact and learn from other educators, uh, and it's great for curating resources. If you have any questions about Google+, don't hesitate to let us know. Thanks and have a great day.